search of my office makes it clear you must visit Miskatonic University. Not only did I work there, but the broken jar came from the university lab. Why did those strange men need it? Whatever the answer, you're sure to find it at Miskatonic. Welcome to Miskatonic University, home of the prestigious Orn Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Here's the science and astrophysics department. Oh, it has changed over the years. But no place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillinger's office. But what do we expect to find? We won't know until we look. All right, let's brace this Withers character and find out what's what. With offices right next to each other, Professors Tillingist and Withers must have known each other well. Professor Tillingist's door is locked. But of course, my friend. Academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. Some have even been known to steal a colleague's research and present it as their own. We'd better ask Withers for the key. I say no, Agatha. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have... Oh, they're talking about me. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, may call me Professor Tillingus. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? 
Please pardon the intrusion, my dear fellow. We just want to ask a few questions about your colleague, Professor Tilling. Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh, these constant intrusions by reporters and police and garden variety busybodies. As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Listen, pal. Wait just a moment, Norman. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Professor Agatha Crane. And you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillingist. Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense! No, Professor Worthers, she's right. We have seen unusual things. We arrived too late to save Professor Tillingus, but we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural, to say the least. We intend to get to the bottom of it. I told you, Norman, that box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. What? Where are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? To the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. Old observatory. Don't be fooled by its antiquated fixtures, my friends. Of course, the new Gerald Warren Astronomical Observatory is a technological marvel, but I shall always remember this one more fondly. Through these telescopes, I first gazed with wonder at the stars and the vast voids between them. Here is the mysterious box. The label marks it as belonging to Professor Tillingist. What are these strange things inside? This symbol. It was in Professor Tillingist's room. You've seen this symbol in Wilhelmina's room, haven't you? It is similar to the iconography of ancient pagan rituals. Here is proof that Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. Many of our colleagues questioned Agatha's unorthodox avenues of research, but none questioned her resolve. Once she sets her mind to a goal, nothing can stop her. We must show this to Norman. Only then will he help us.
Could it be? Yes, these glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. This, my friends, is a grimoire, a book of spells. What it is doing at the university, I cannot say. But we mustn't let this opportunity go to waste. We must see whether these spells work. Look here, Norman. See the odd things in this box of Wilhelmina's? Whatever she was researching, it was far more than that comet. I don't see what this has to do with her death. We saw a sign identical to the one on this box in the room where Professor Tillingus was killed. I must admit that seems far too unlikely to be mere coincidence. Very well. You have my attention and my help. Wilhelmina left Arkham earlier this year, and I received this box. After hearing no word from her, I became concerned, and I, I confess, I briefly searched her office for some indication of the purpose of her travel. Oh, Norman, you dear fool. I was only gone a week. Why did you worry so? Unfortunately, I couldn't make sense of her notes. They made no sense to me. I did sense a whiff of the occult about them, which I admit made me uneasy. Be a good fellow, Withers, and help us find out what happened to Wilhelmina. I know you want the truth as much as we do. You're right, of course. Here, yeah, take the key to Wilhelmina's office. While you have a look in there, I'll pour over these notes again. What was that sound? It came from next door. My office? Who's in there? What was that commotion? There's nobody here. Someone beat us to it. The room's been searched, and recently. Just look at this mess. Someone has ransacked my office. Look there, even the safe is broken open. Now they're on the lam. We gotta nab them before they get off campus. Whoever it is must be dangerous. You must protect the students. of them to wear uniforms. They clearly belong to the same organization that attacked us in Professor Tillinger's home. They're the ones who looted her office. Stop them! Who are these interlopers? Deal with them while the others escape!
That scream is coming from down the corridor. Oh no, the students! Must be one of those weird burglars. Let's go! That scream came from right around here. This was Wilhelmina's classroom. It sounds as though some students have locked themselves in. Who? Who's out there? It's me, Professor Crane. Are you all right in there? We're safe, but some strange people attacked us. We managed to barricade ourselves inside. You stay put until we've dealt with them. Did you see which way they were heading? They ran down the next corridor. Be careful, Professor, they look dangerous. After we handle those burglars, we should come back here. If this was Professor Tillinger's classroom, we might find clues inside. Come here, you! Help me! We must protect the students.
Are you all right? Thank you. I think I'll be fine. It's mostly shock. This was just a diversion. We need to catch up to the men that were in Professor Tillingus' office. Are you hurt? No, just bruised. Some men in weird costumes knocked me down. Which way did they go? They ran right into that classroom. There they are. They have the professor's things. Get them back. These fools mustn't stop us. Deal with them.
They won't be knocking down any more students. Now let's see what they took from Professor Tillinger's office. Robbing the robbers. It would all seem a bit tawdry if it weren't so poetic. This letter indicates that Professor Tillingus reserved the science lab for some experiment. Maybe it doesn't solve the mystery, but now we have a couple more names to go on. Alphonse Lanowit and the Herd. I don't recognize those names. Alphonse Lanwy. An unsavory character indeed. These clues might not make sense now, but we might be able to connect them to others later. I think that's all they took. We should return to Wilhelmina's classroom and tell the students the way is clear. That's the case. Let's check the classroom. If it was Professor Tillingus, we're bound to find some clue about what happened to her. It's all clear, students. We've taken care of those brutes. Thank you, Professor. Are the students unharmed? That's most important. If so, then we should search the room.
Professor Tillingist's body vanished from the cemetery? How ghastly! Who on earth would steal my corpse? It must have been grave robbers, of course. It isn't as though I could have leapt up and walked away. This Albert Hatcher is our only witness. We should visit him when we're done here. Here it is again, the herd of Algidi. They're some sort of astronomy club. That explains the professor's interest. They're based in New Orleans. Perhaps that's where the professor went on her trip. That makes sense, since she circled the name in the book. I do feel a pang of guilt at defacing a book in such a manner. I must have had a very good reason for it. I think we visited all the places Professor Tillingist worked in the university. It's about time we returned to Norman's office. Perhaps he's made some headway with those notes.
Ah, oh, you're back at last. Did you find the cause of the commotion? We took care of it, Doc. Still, there might be trouble ahead. We've made progress in our investigation, but we also met someone who might try to thwart our efforts. An enemy of Wilhelmina, Poppycock. Everyone liked her, even the students. Do you know any reason why she requested exclusive access to the science lab for several days? What? No, she had no need of a lab. As an astronomer, she spent most of her time in the observatory, not among flasks and beakers. The broken glass we found in Professor Tillinga's house looked like it might have been a flask or beaker. Here, this is the key to the science lab. You can find the entrance in front of Wilhelmina's classroom. How did you? I could have sworn I locked that door. You'll regret opening it. Say, what have you done with that guard? You're up to no good. Look what he did to that guard. Grab him before he tries it with us.
What just happened? That man cast a spell. Oh, I know how that sounds, but you saw it with your own eyes. Something Wilhelmina researched proved dangerous. Fatally so for her. What on earth is that thing? I've seen nothing like it, even in the most bizarre occult references. No matter its origin, you must admit it is a scientifically important discovery. That container looks the same as the broken glass we found at Professor Tillinger's house. Do you suppose someone took one there? We can't let this thing fall into the wrong hands. We better take it with us. A thorough study of the cadaver might reveal fascinating data. Are you sure that's such a good idea? We should at least examine the thing. Who knows what clues its body might hold? I suppose it might tell us something about what happened to Professor Tillinghast. Yes, that seems like the prudent decision. <laughs> 